Hey everybody, it's Aloha, and um, nobody showed up to my first office hour, so I thought I would use this time to make you a quick video with some tips um, on some things you might be thinking about as you're starting this course. Um, first of all, I'm in Zoom right now, which is a web conferencing tool that we use for our office hours in this class, and I'm just recording my, my Zoom session right now, which I'll turn into a video. Um, and one cool thing that you can do in Zoom is share your computer screen with whoever's on the conference with you. So I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to share my desktop with you. Um, and this is what it looks like. So right now on my desktop, I was looking at our course. And so um, here it is. And one of the things that you might think about as you're starting the class is you might wonder how we've done some of our module setup. And um, so let me demonstrate that. First of all, you can see in my view here that we've got a couple of unpublished modules at the top of the page. So you can't see these, and these are for me only to see, well, me and Pat. And um, so just a reminder that you do need to publish any modules that you want your students to see. And that includes in your sandbox that you're using for this course. Anything that you have that's like this, with this grayed out circle um, is going to be unpublished and students will not be able to see it. Here's the green check mark on the right hand side of the page for modules that, all were, that are published already. Um, and one other thing that you'll notice that we use in OESP is um, something called requirements for the modules and that's where you see complete all items next to the module title. And module, uh, module requirements are a little bit different than module prerequisite, prerequisites. So a prerequisite means that you have to complete something before the next one will open up. That's what you all did um, when you completed the pre-course module, it, it unlocked the other modules. Requirement is different. Requirements do not make you complete anything. Instead, what requirements do is they give you um, a little check mark. So basically, as you're going through the module, you're getting a little check mark when you've completed that item. So really, it's um, a task management tool for students to help them track what they have and haven't done. And how you set that up is to the right of the module title, you'll click what's called the snowman icon in Canvas. It's the three vertical dots. And if you click that, you should be able to edit the module. And you can scroll down to where it says requirements. And you can have them um, complete each item in the module. For the pages that's just information, you set it to view if you want it to automatically check off when they've viewed the item. And for an assignment, a discussion, a quiz, or an assignment, you can say that they won't get a check mark until they've actually submitted that item, if that's how you wanna set it up. And then you'll click update. And that's when you'll see that below each item, it tells you what you have to do in order to get a check, check mark. Mm -hmm. And um, let me show you in student view what that looks like, although you probably all see it in your OESP course. Um, to get to student view, if you click home, and then on the right hand side, we can click student view. This is gonna give me a student perspective, and if I click modules, I can now see anything with a check, green check mark means I've completed that item already. And anything that just has a circle means that I haven't completed it yet. So let me click on this. I'm gonna view this page. Great, and now if I click back to modules, you should see that I got a check mark. And it's also gonna tell me that I haven't I've started this module, but I haven't completed it yet. But again, this doesn't prevent me from moving on to the next module. It just gives me some check marks to help me figure out, let's say I get halfway through and then I leave, well, I can come right back and pick up where I left off. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and say uh, thank you for watching my mini office hour and maybe we'll see you in a future Zoom office hour. Bye.